Join us this week as we take on the Wild Pacific Trail. On the highway, it's our way. We're 66 and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do. One thing for sure. Hey, please don't look at me. Good morning, so just a quick check-in. Um, yesterday we had a pretty awesome day. We went out on a, um, a Zodiac boat. Uh, there were, I don't know, two different families that went out with us and we went whale watching. It was super awesome. We, um, we got to spend about 30 minutes with a couple of humpback whales. Um, they didn't really make a big spectacular show for us, but they definitely um gave us a little bit to watch it was pretty awesome um we also got to see some eagles and uh some sea lions and some otters and uh, what else did we see oh we saw a bear that was on the shoreline it was really neat uh to see him kind of flipping the rocks looking for some crabs a little mid-morning snack so that was a great day today we are going to head out to um, just kind of hike around a little bit, look for some big ancient cedars and maybe go over to the bluffs and just kind of check out the shoreline around uh, Ukula here. And uh, yeah, it's kind of overcast today, a little bit on the cooler side. Definitely not what I expect for August. Um, probably hotter at home than it is here uh, right on the rugged west coast, but we are having an awesome time and really enjoying um, some time being away from home and some downtime and some relaxation. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, so we'll check back. And we're gonna head out here shortly. Okay, so we're just heading out on, what's it called? The uh, Wild Pacific Trail? Yeah, that's it. In the, the Wild, um, West. Wild West. There's an area. Uh, Wild Pacific Trail in the Pacific Rim National yeah. Park, National yeah, Forest, and uh, <laughs> Jared's downloaded the map on his phone, so if we get lost, it's his fault, and uh, send help. Do what? I'm gonna take a picture of the sign that says wolves are active in the And the one that says that there's a bear? And the bear. What are we gonna do if we see bears or wolves? I can run faster than you. Mm, I brought my pocket knife. <laughs> I have a pocket knife too, but it's very deep in my neck. So. Well, and it's, it's not to actually fend off wolves, just to get you long enough so I can outrun them. Uh, you have to catch me first. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch lives in there. Jared says these rocks remind him of the moon. That one time that he was there, it's very familiar. Oh. 
didn't really get to stop at Cathedral Grove because apparently it was closed. But here we have got uh, some ancient cedars. I don't know here. I don't know if you walk over and uh, stand near it, we can figure out some real perspective. Almost six foot tall. Wide. You're almost six foot tall, which made you six foot wide. Yeah. You're not six foot wide. So. I had pancakes this morning. <laughs> That's a massive, massive tree. Here's another one. Maybe not quite as big, but certainly just as beautiful. I wonder how old these guys are. And you go stand by it. You're what, four, four foot tall? Yeah, that's right. Four foot tall. That's why I got such good calves, because I'm constantly getting That's right. What was that elf's name? And, not elf, but dwarf's name. And, all right, that's probably not helping my cause. Oh, no, it's not my <laughs> cause, but. Wow. That is, that is a big. That, that is a big, tree. big, big tree. Yeah, nice. All right, we just finished up at the end of the trail at the bluffs and uh, we just turned around and are making our way back to the, uh, the starting point. I don't know what he's pointing at. What are you pointing at there? The wolf den, apparently? I don't know. That thing hanging down looked like a face earlier. So a little ways back, we saw a sign that said private property, turn around and go back. The views are just as beautiful in reverse. And I have to say, they are probably correct. Okay, so we have about 2.35 kilometers left to go. Uh, to back where we started from. And uh, yeah, this is a great trail. It can be done uh, fairly quickly and um, there is some ups and downs, but they're not too bad. They're actually pretty, um, not high grade. It can be done pretty, uh, uh, sorry, there's a fork in the road. Uh, there's lots of places to stop, lookouts, benches, for resting, nicely done trail with lots of good grooming and it's well kept up. here. If I was a bear, this is where I'd want to be. Nature has taken back its belongings. Okay, so after a short break, break <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know if it's really was short, but um, we finished up the other trail and went back to the hotel and took a little break and uh, we just drove over to the parking lot for the 2.6 kilometer loop of mm -hmm. the, um, lighthouse. the lighthouse and the remainder of the uh, Pacific, Wild Pacific Trail. So we are trying to navigate our way around. There's all these one-way signs and... Um, so we just want to make sure we're going in the right direction. And uh, uh, yeah, so I guess due to COVID, they're trying to keep this probably fairly popular trail, uh, getting people going all in the same direction so there isn't too much cross traffic. So there's all these arrows that are kind of pointing us along the way, but we don't really know the trail, so we're not really 100% certain. 
we cross paths with some other people and we're just gonna follow their leads. So if they're wrong, we're gonna blame them. Yeah, it's Pacific Northwest and you see all that moss hanging off of the trees. There's a little beach, a little bay down there maybe. It's so pretty. Nicely capped and stairs. Oh, they are weird. They're a weird distance apart, creating a weird step there. But these views definitely make this hike worth it. All these little built-in lookouts where you can stop and just take this in. Except we're gonna keep moving because we don't want to get cold. So he went back uphill to get that shot for you. That's quite something. Crazy in here. <laughs> I did. Let's try not to do that again, okay? Wow. There we go. Just all grow willy nilly around here. There's another crazy tree. You know the way that thing is bent and swirled with time. Okay, so I think we're down to our last no, last quarter of a kilometer before we're back to the car. So we've done another 2.6 kilometer loop. Uh, the lighthouse trail here that's still part of the uh, Wild Pacific Trail. And uh, we're just going to finish up and then we're going to go get something to eat because we are, we are starved. We haven't had anything since breakfast except for maybe a little chocolate snack at the hotel when we were resting. So we're going to head for dinner and then we're going to have a little downtown downtime at the hotel later. So he probably won't hear from us after. I don't know why I'm getting some stare downs up there. Probably because I'm so hungry I can't speak anymore and slurring my words. Anyways, be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, give us a thumbs up. And uh, the other thing is the bell. Hit the bell and that way you are notified when the next video comes up. Because I think the next one should have us going to Long Beach and Tofino. So that should be another exciting day. So see you later. All right, we've had some problems with slugs this year. 
invading my garden. But I can assure you, nothing that has gotten into my garden is the size of that sucker. He's all stretched out, he's gotta be six inches long. Good thing you're in the wild. You would have died in my garden.